Greetings. We are glad that you are here with us today as we gather on the Nativity of the Lord. The presider for today's liturgy is Father John. In today's liturgy, we are remembering Joel and Virginia Nicoletti. So that we might pray and sing as one family, please stand and greet those around you. nation and people. From the very, very beginning of creation, you made manifest your love. When our need for a Savior was great, you sent your Son to be born of the Virgin Mary. To our lives, he brings joy and peace, justice, mercy, and love. Lord, bless all who look upon this manger May it remind us of the humble birth of Jesus and raise up our thoughts to him who is God with us and Savior of all and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each of you. And with your spirit. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Before we enter these sacred mysteries, we take a moment, reflect on the events of recent days, and for those times we've not been true to our call, we ask for God's pardon, grace, and strength in the future. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. And on earth peace to people, to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. 
We adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father. Glory to God in the highest, glory to God, and on earth peace to people, to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, glory to God. And on earth peace to people, to people of goodwill. For you alone are the holy. Let us pray. O oh God, who made this most sacred night radiant with the splendor of the true light, grant that we who have known the mysteries of his light on earth may also delight in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you, as at the harvest, as people make merry, when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. Every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. Ends of the earth have seen the power of God. All of the ends of the earth have seen the 
power of God. All of the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for God has done wondrous deeds, whose right hand has won the victory for us. God's holy arm. All of the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. All of the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. The Lord has made salvation known and justice revealed to all, remembering kindness and faithfulness to Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately justly and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus to the whole, that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quinarius was governor of Syria. All went to be enrolled, each to his own town. Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields, and keeping the night watch over their flock. 
the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Christmas story that we hear each year is the same. We're the ones who are different. Our world is different. After nine months of the COVID pandemic, that last statement is more true than ever. Our memories have grown, our hopes have been tested, and our love and compassion have been called upon in numerous new ways. But no matter the changes we have undergone, no matter what losses we have mourned, the story of Christmas speaks to us of new birth and the possibility of our own rebirth. Christmas tells us that things can be different. Christmas gives us hope that new life is possible because of the birth of the Son of God. You know, I, I think it's pretty difficult to imagine the celebration of Christmas without the help of Luke's, Luke's gospel. Luke puts us in touch with a young Virgin Mary with, who is with child, and Joseph, her husband, with surprised shepherds and jubilant angels to announce the good news. We are annually drawn into a dream that is larger than our own. We are invited to share feelings of joy and hope. We are asked to take our place at the manger and behold the gift of God wrapped in swaddling clothes. I hope you notice that the angels first announced the birth of Jesus to shepherds, not kings. The shepherds, ordinary people just like you and me, are the first to come and believe in the infant Messiah. They're the first to hear the joy of Christmas, of the Christmas story. They're the first to say Merry Christmas. They're the first to evangelize their neighbors with the invitation, come, let us adore. On this day, we are each asked to become shepherds we are invited to step into the story of the nativity. And the angels remind the shepherds of God's eternal presence with their greeting, do not be afraid. That same greeting is made to us this Christmas. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid when you feel alone or overwhelmed or stressed by the pressures of the world. The Christmas story at its, at its root is the story of the family of God. It's the story about us and of our longing to be part of a family. And the Christ child is the promise that God has drawn close to all of us. And so we are again compelled to gather at the crib. It's easy to be drawn into this story since we, have all, we all began life as small, fragile, helpless children. 
in so many ways, no matter how self-reliant we have become, we are still God's children. There is no wonder that at Christmas time, truces are declared. Neighbors seem to be more friendly. Greetings among strangers are more readily exchanged. And wishes of peace seem more sincere. This simple story has the power to transform and transport us into worlds that are other than every day. It is the retelling of a story that we become what we are meant to be, part of God's family. Thought of that way, the Christmas story isn't merely a story of long ago. It's always fresh and new in every detail that we choose to make our own. Christmas is our story, yours and mine. Christmas is the story of everyone's family. The story of Jesus born in each of us today. A living pe person to make our own. The birth of a child is a new adventure in faith beings. A new approach to God open that is open to all of us. A new way of relating to each other and to our possibilities. This child, comes, this child becomes for us the way, the truth, and the life. That's why we journey back to Bethlehem each year to rediscover our roots in the gift of Jesus. It's truly a journey home. Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth to those on whom his favor rests. I wish you and yours a blessed and a joyous Christmas. Let us now stand and profess our faith. I believe in one, one God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, Lord, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident that God hears and answers our prayers, we put the needs of our world in communion as we perceive them before the throne of heaven. For the church, that we may be a visible sign of God's great love for humanity in the incarnation of his Son, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the promise of peace and justice for all people may be realized, especially for those who live in nations at war or in conditions of oppression, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who struggle to find food, warm clothing, shelter, heat, and employment, that through our Christian charity and care, their needs may be met until the day that the world is free from want, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for expectant mothers that they may receive the health care they need and be kept safe from harm as they prepare to bring new life into the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us in this Christian community may share in the joy of this blessed day and share that joy with our families and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and for the consolation of their loved ones during this Christmas season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own intentions, we pause and pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All powerful and ever-loving God, we give you thanks for the gifts, the wonders, the opportunities that you present to us each day. On this Christmas, we especially ask you to give ear to our prayer, to listen to our cares and concerns, and in your love and wisdom to answer them as you will. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 My sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his church. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, that through this most sacred exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that, as we recognize in him, God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You're indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For you, through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to you. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit graciously to make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took, he took the chalice and gave you thanks, said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son may be filled with this Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Pope Francis, our Bishop Thomas, and the entire people you have made your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom As 
cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another some sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Hallelujah. 
Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, that we who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's nativity may through an honorable way of life become worthy of union with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. When he came to us as man, the Son of God scattered the darkness of this world and filled this holy night with his glory. May the God of infinite goodness scatter the darkness of sin and brighten your hearts with holiness. Let the church say amen. 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 God sent his angels to shepherds to herald the great joy of our Savior's birth. May he fill you with joy and make you heralds of his gospel. Let the church say amen. Amen. When the word became man, earth was joined to heaven. May, you, may he give you his peace and goodwill and fellowship with all of the heavenly hosts. Let the church say amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let her receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let us a song. and floods, rock seals and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He who rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love